Now let's talk about MPOX. It is spreading globally. Today, Thailand recorded its first case. It was a European man who had recently visited Africa. Now, these growing cases are causing alarm. Countries are screening travelers. Argentina has quarantined an entire ship over a suspected case. The World Health Organization that raised an alarm last week now says MPOX is not the new COVID. Africa is appealing to the world to show solidarity, not impose travel bans. But here's the unfortunate part. This wave of infections broke out in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and they still don't have the vaccines because the West is hoarding them. They're sitting on vaccine stockpiles. Shares of MPOX vaccines have surged by 40%, but Africa has no shots. Our next report tells you more. The situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. Detection and rapid spread of a new clade of MPOX in Eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring countries, and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. A coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. That was the WHO chief on the 14th of August. It declared MPOX a public health emergency. But for doctors in the Democratic Republic of Congo, this is not new. They have been battling this disease for two years now. The skin lesion disease comes from I don't know where. I can't even remember the name of the disease. We were told that it comes after eating game, but neither I nor my child have eaten game. These symptoms just appeared. Since January, the DRC has recorded 16,000 cases of MPOX. There have been 570 deaths. Yet, the DRC doesn't have a single dose of the MPOX vaccine. So where are the vaccines? Well, they're in the West. Most Western countries stockpiled it during the 2022 outbreak. Africa says they are now sitting on it. Take Spain, for example. It still has 500,000 vials of the MPOX vaccine. The Netherlands currently has 100,000 vials. Germany has 117,000 doses, which has led to accusations of vaccine hoarding. And this is not the first time. So 50 years on, there has been a shameful lack of investment to support researchers in African countries to really understand MPOX better. We still globally do not have a good understanding of MPOX on the outbreaks, how it spreads, how many asymptomatic cases do we have for every case that we find with symptoms. We do not have a good understanding. Today, Thailand recorded its first MPOX case. It was a European who traveled from Africa. The 66-year-old male arrived in the country on August 14th. He's being quarantined in a hospital. It has also spread to countries like Sweden, Pakistan and the Philippines. Meanwhile, Argentina has quarantined a cargo ship. It's over a suspected case of the virus. The patient zero was a crew member of Indian nationality. He started showing cyst-like lesions, so authorities have made the ship drop anchor in the Parana River. Currently, there's only one vaccine that has regulatory approval for MPOX. It's produced by Bavarian Nordic. There are other smallpox vaccines that can be used. But since the outbreak, Bavarian Nordic's share has soared. They're up by 40%. But can the company meet the demand? Bavarian Nordic claims that it can produce 10 million doses by the end of 2025. But who will pay for it? African countries don't have the resources, which means the West will have to step up. But the question is, are they willing to do so? We can and must tackle MPOX together, across regions and continents. So will we choose to put the systems in place to control and eliminate MPOX globally? Or we will enter another cycle of panic and then neglect? How we respond now and in the years to come will prove a critical test for Europe and the world. Europe says it will send more than 215,000 MPOX vaccine doses to Africa. Japan has pledged 3 million doses. The US has pledged 50,000. 
But will that be enough? The DRC alone needs 3.5 million doses. Meanwhile, Africa needs over 10 million doses. So the need of the hour is a coordinated response. Unless Africa gets vaccines, we will not see the end of MPOX anytime soon. Because diseases know no borders. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.